Hey, Larry Vickers here, Vickers Tactical Channel, and I'm gonna take you through my Bravo Company training carbine. This gun has been a staple of my training classes for quite a while, and also has acted as a guinea pig for various Bravo Company products when they come out. Starting up front, this is one of the very first Bravo Company gunfighter tactical compensators, if you will, very effective. Also has one of the very first KMR rails that they ever made and some of the new rail covers on the key mod attachment point. Also stubby vert grip. I have it located in such a place where I can reach up with my thumb and activate the white light I have mounted at the 12 o'clock position. Why do I mount it there? It's real simple. If I can see the target with my aim point optic, my white light can see the target also. If I have a white light mounted in any other rail attachment accessory position, such as three, six, or nine o'clock, depending on the cover I'm using, my white light will be blocked. At 12 o'clock, if you can see the target, your white light can see it too. I have fixed iron sights on the front and the rear. I generally run fixed iron sights when I run a red dot sight. I'll use folding sights when I use a magnified optic. That's just kind of my personal rule of thumb. Okay, coming farther back, this is one of the new AR Ready optics. This particular one is an H2 from Aimpoint. It also has their LRP throw lever mount and a 39 millimeter spacer. Okay, I don't run any kind of ambi controls on my gun. Even though I run a long gun left-handed because I'm left eye dominant, I don't run an ambi mag catch, ambi bolt release, ambi selector or anything. I wanna be able to pick up a standard AR carbine anywhere in the world and be able to run that gun without having to rely on the muscle memory of ambidextrous controls. Okay, coming back here, I run a Mod Zero Gunfighter Bravo Company pistol grip because I have fairly small hands and I want to be able to access the controls very easily. Buttstock, Bravo Company Gunfighter Buttstock. Once again, the gun acted as a guinea pig. This was one of the very first Bravo Company Gunfighter Buttstocks on the market and I was providing feedback to Paul Buffoni on the merits of the new product. And of course, I have my signature sling from Blue Force Gear, a padded black one, which is what I prefer. And very lightweight gun, unloaded. The gun is just a little bit over seven pounds, about a seven and one third pounds. Loaded, it takes it up from that obviously, but it's a very light profile, partially because I have a lightweight barrel profile underneath the handguard. Real happy with this training carbine. I've been using essentially the same gun with minor tweaks over the years. It's performed very well. If you wanna check out some of these accessories, make sure you go over to Bravo Company's website. Have a good one, we'll see you later. Going hot. Let me introduce you to the Bravo Company Gunfighter Muzzle Brake. It has a combination of tuned slots, tuned ports, and an internal cone that blends compensation, side blast mitigation, and flash reduction into an excellent overall package. One hot.